is up guys, my name is Proto, and today I will be showing you how to put custom music into Starbound. Now what I mean by custom music is music that does not come default in the game as it is installed, music you would like to play from either video games or randomness, that you can play on any instrument in Starbound. <laughs> Maybe something you guys are a little more familiar with. Now there are a couple of methods of doing this, and I'll be showing you both. Now this is lotro-abc.com. Lord of the Rings Online uses ABC files to play music on different instruments as well, and as you can see, they're also supporting Starbound, which is cool, because they both use ABC files. Now this place is where you can find a whole bunch of pre-made ABC files from Bach and Aerosmith and the Beatles and you name it, you're going to find a whole bunch of music here, and the list is constantly updated. Now, as I said, there are two methods to acquire music to play inside of Starbound. First is just the straight ABC method, uh, which you can do here or look for ABC files for Lord of the Rings Online or specifically for Starbound. You can go to the Chucklefish official forum, um, official website, and pick up a song pack there, which has a bunch of stuff from Halo. But for the sake of this argument, I will be showing you the Gears of War, <laughs> sorry, Gary Jules, Tears for Fears, uh, Mad World song. So I'll show you how to put that in the game. First things first, you will want to locate exactly where the songs are inside of Starbound, and you will do this by going into My Computer, then your C drive, and your program files, uh, or x86, depending on your operating system, uh, going down to your Steam directory, like so, opening that up, going to Steam Apps, then to Common, then you will go all the way down to where you have located or placed your Starbound, which is alphabetical, and then go into your assets file. Now depending on your version of the game, it might show up in here, but because I'm up to date, it will be in the user and then in the songs file. And you will see a whole bunch of ABC files that I've either made myself or taken from the LOTRO ABC uh, website. Now I personally already have Mad World in the songs file as an ABC file, taken from LOTRO ABC, but I will be showing you how to put it in the game and with all ABC files, you're going to need to open them with a notepad or some kind of text editor so that you can go in and change the ABC files. Now, all ABC files, these are what the notes look like. Each one of the, the individual, honestly, it looks like Greek to me. Anyway, as you can see, I already have a copy of Mad World. But what you're going to want to do when you find a song you want to use, like this Mad World one here, is click on it. See all the, the, the same type of text as before? Um, you're going to want to highlight all of it, and either you can right-click and click on Copy, or you can Control-C, uh, whatever you want to do. And you go into where your songs are located, and you create yourself a new text document, like so. Right-click, New, Text File. Now, what you can do is either you can change the .txt to .abc now, or you can do it afterwards. Um, I'll do it afterwards just so you know exactly what it is I will name this one mad world 2 so that you know what I'm what I'm what I'm dealing with here and then just paste what you found on the website like so directly into the notepad file uh, make sure you save it because if you don't it won't work so after you save it go back and rename it dot ABC um, like I said you can either do that before or after and let me show you what happens. After your ABC file is in the location it needs to be in, you will see that I have dun dun dun, dun Mad World 2. And it sounds like Zeus.
straight ABC method is one of the two ways you can do it. A whole list of songs. You can also convert MIDI files into ABC files like the next version. Um, like I did with the, uh, the, the Raven special here. Now, I will show you how to convert MIDI files into ABCs for your Starbound. Now, while getting the straight ABC version of your songs from the lotro-abc.com website, um, I personally am a big fan of video game music, but if you want a, a MIDI file of a particular song, uh, go into Google. I'm gonna look up... Uh, Let's do Lady Gaga. Yeah, because I'm obnoxious like that, and you can see that there are a selection of, of MIDI places you can get these MIDI files from. But, for the sake of this, uh, this description, I'm going to show you VGMusic.com, which is a place I, I frequent to get music for, for Starbound. Um, for the sake of argument, I'll go to PlayStation 1. And I will look for... Hmm, decisions, decisions... You know what, I'm just going to go with the tried and true, um, do some some Blizzard Buffalo from, from Mega Man X, download the MIDI file, and there is a program I'm going to be putting in the description of the, the video, the link for it, called Starbound Composer. Now what this does is it changes MIDI files into ABC files. It, it spreads the MIDI tracks into uh, multiple tracks, so you can see um, what all the different noises are, but you can import uh, any MIDI file you find. Uh, and in this instance, I think I'm well. Like I said before, I'm going to go with some uh, some Blizzard Buffalo, and I already downloaded some MIDI files beforehand uh, in the last video that really didn't work too well. Anyway, so we're going to open this, and you can see there are multiple tracks. Um, now keep in mind, this is music that you're going to be playing by yourself or with you and a buddy, so try and simplify it as much as you can. And I've already gone through and, and, and did all the test work for this, I've already got a copy of it in Starbound, so I already know what I'm doing. Um, so in order to simplify it, I'm going to get rid of all the stuff I don't need, um, everything that's not just a basic tune that I can play by myself, nothing that sounds uh, overly weird or overly complicated. Um, you also have the ability to go into each one of the tracks individually if you're one of the ABC modders and change the notes, uh, change the length thereof, uh, change timing, whatever you want. I'm going to get rid of all the tracks that aren't important, and I will show you exactly what happens. Um, now what's cool about this program is that you can merge two different layers together, you can merge two different channels together into one. Um, like so, and you will be able to just save that one channel instead of having to save them both and then needing, you know, two people, whatever. Um, Starbound will only play one channel. Um, anyway, so you can you can save uh, one of the selected, or you can merge them together and save that one, or you can click on save all if you have multiple channels and you can save it uh, however, wherever you wish. So I'm going to go back to... C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, starbound, assets, users, songs. I'm going to save this. As you can see, I already have a copy of it. But I'm going to save it as Blizzard 2. Or Blizzard Space. Blizzard Space 2. Yeah. Once the ABC has been saved into the songs file, you'll see Blizzard 2 there, like so. And uh, really, it's 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 like that. You can you can go to the, the Lotro website and get the ABC files you please from there, or you can... Uh, I'm a big fan of video game music, so I, I tend to collect a lot of that. Uh, MIDI files, ABC files, I'll put the, the links for everything you need in the description. Um, if there's any part you really you don't really, from, you know, you're not really familiar with, or don't really understand, just go back and watch it. Um, it's actually really cool. So you can go and, and, and play music by yourself or with your buddies or however you want to do it and uh yeah it's 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 kind of cool
Anyway, I am Proto, and this has been Adding Custom Music to Starbound. Click the subscribe button for more gameplay, news, reviews, and updates. Cheers.